So I've got here today another uh, Doing Stuff with David bulky pickup special. Got this, it was just on the curb. Uh, someone had thrown it out, so I'm gonna take it apart and see what's in there. I've actually, I'm really curious what this is gonna be because it's quite heavy. So I'm taking this off because yeah, it's usually all screw. So it's pretty heavy, so it's old. I, I don't know what this is, some sort of like Chromecast device, computer thing, uh, but it's, it's quite heavy. And so I'm kind of interested to see what's in here since it's old. I think probably it's just old, heavy, bigger components than we're used to, but it's not that old. So it'll be interesting to see. And normally these aren't really meant to be taken apart or repaired or anything. But again, I've taken enough of these apart to know, usually if you see a little rubber foot like this and you don't see any screws anywhere else, they're probably underneath these rubber foots. So if you ever try to take something like this apart and you can't figure out how to get it apart, oftentimes there's little plastic tabs kind of around the edges that hold this together. But usually there's also at least one screw somewhere. Okay, interesting. So this looks like some RAM. I was wondering if that's what it was. Yeah, this is like a little RAM module, just like you would see in a laptop. Uh, this looks like a Wi-Fi chip. I believe that's what that is. And maybe part of the antenna and radio here. Usually these are these are dead giveaways because they're, oh wait, no, is that what that is? Uh, at least these are dead giveaways because you see these little tiny, these are actually co coaxial cables and usually you'll see these going out to an antenna. Uh, this might be a little hard drive, maybe actually. I think it is, yeah, because it's got the, I, I, I caught myself because it's got this, you can't really see, we'll, we'll see it when we take the, we take the Wi-Fi chip off of here, but it's got an M.2 connector on the back of it. So that's kind of interesting. In fact, now let's get into that. So these, these guys, they normally just pop right off. So if you're kind of gentle, they'll pull off. Again, I only care about this for the circuit board, so I'm not too worried about actually damaging anything. I just don't want to like, you know, break a board in half or something. So I'm trying to be careful here. You can see right there. 16 gigabytes, huge. <laughs> Here's our RAM, if we just flip those guys up. So this is a, let's see here, four gigabyte, whoops. Good thing I don't really care about this. So a little four gigabyte RAM module. So what we're looking at here is just a little computer. That's the first thing that we should take away from this. I'm gonna pull this back. This is just a little kind of single board purpose built computer not too different from something like a raspberry pi you can see obviously it's a lot more complicated in here it's got a lot it's it's more specialized than that but that's what we're looking at you know all the same things you would have wi-fi hard drive ram uh, and then you know basically the motherboard with your different connections on it um that's what we've got here so So there you go. Yep, that's the case, just empty shell. And we're left with this board. Yep, everything you would expect to see. Uh, this is a little SD or I don't know, whatever kind of card adapter that is. I don't think it's SD card. I don't think it's maybe it is. Um, a fan to keep it cool. It's look like a little coin cell, I think. Yep, three volts. USB ports, HDMI, display port, it's more USB, uh, ethernet. It's like power maybe. And uh, audio, I think it's an audio jack, it looks like. Uh, yeah, so this is basically just a little computer. If we look in here, we can probably find the processor surely is underneath this heat sink. In fact, let's take that off and see what it looks like under here. I'm expecting to find kind of a, a heat sink with maybe some thermal paste on it. It might be kind of ugly to look at, but we'll see. Take the fan off. Okay, yep, here's a little uh, heat pipe, I think is what you call that. Going to this radiator here. So the processor must be right under here. This heat pipe lays on, draws heat out from the processor as it's doing as it work, dumps it into this radiator, and then the fan blows air over it and pushes it out. I guess it pulls it in this way and pushes it out the bottom to keep the processor cool. So let's take this off and get a, get a look at the processor. Let's see what it is. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we can see here's this 
this heat pipe is kind of connected to this heat pipe here. This gray stuff is what you call thermal paste. It's just kind of this goop that transfers heat really well. And it's stuck onto the processor, which you can see here. This is a processor actually, and maybe an FPGA. You never know with boards like this. Um, I'm not super familiar with them, but I'm seeing these two different components here. So there's, there's two different things here that we're looking at um, that we're trying to draw heat away from, but it looks like a couple of power supplies. Very typical for what you'd see in like a, in like a little single board computer. I'm gonna pull this off this battery. I don't really want that in there. I'm gonna take the fan off, although I'm gonna keep this fan because that might like kind of cool for my project actually. And there's one more board on here. This is that little SD card daughter board. Uh, so we're just gonna pull that off. But uh, I don't know why that's on a separate board, I guess. This is rev E <laughs> of this board. So that maybe that's some indicator that it looks like they had space for something else to go here. Um, so maybe this is kind of a weird, you know, late game design decision. Didn't have an SD card when they first designed it and then didn't have a place to put it without redesigning the whole board. So instead of doing that work, they just slapped this thing on here maybe. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have in here. RAM, hard drive, Wi-Fi, SD, and a motherboard. So kind of a cool little computer built onto this little uh, frame. This actually looks a lot like you can buy these little, you know, micro computers that you are just for like basic office work and it looks very similar to that. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's basically the same thing, especially considering the fact that it's made by HP. So kind of a cool little project.